four kids, seven bags, six humans total. We are home back in Salt Lake City. Hello and very good early morning to you all today. <laughs> I think we were standing just over there like maybe 45 minutes ago saying good night to everyone. I, I don't know, it's all kind of a blur you guys. It is 4.29 a.m. I think mom went to bed a couple hours ago. I went to bed about an hour ago. So we are fresh off of a full 90 minutes of sleep and we are ready to rock. <laughs> we cannot wait to get home, drop the bags, go, go right back to bed. <laughs> In order to do that, we have to get these bags loaded into our rental car. We have to get our rental car returned, get to the airport, catch oh our flight, get home. I don't want to think about the rest because then we have to go pick up the bags, take the shuttle to the car in the long-term parking, then go get in the car and then drive home and it feels like it's an eternity away, but it is not that Sorry. far away. It'll still be yet this morning that that all happens. This is all happening before 10 a.m. Utah time. You guys, holy cow, buckle up. We are going to be on our adventure home. This has been the most incredible trip. We've had really so much fun. Just like all good things, you must come to an end. And like all great journeys, they begin with the first step. And the first step in this journey of getting home is to get these to bags get loaded. Oh. oh, no. To get some sleep? No. no. To get some bread? No. no. We have to go to the airport. Okay, well, it's to get these sleepy, wonderful, amazing kids who are up bright, early, teeth brushed, dressed. Love you guys so much. You're amazing. You're it's rock amazing. stars. Hopefully, maybe we can catch some sleep in the plane, if not later today, because we do have the full day I at home. Keep nodding through this yeah. whole video. <laughs> we'll see. I'll load the bags. Let's get to the airport. Sounds good. Let's get this epic day underway. I think so. We'll go lock the house, we'll get out of here. This is actually kind of rad. I showed it actually on the flyer on the garage as we walked out. They have the streets already shut down this morning. The day we leave, just today, they are shooting something for Hoonigan. If you guys aren't familiar with that, Ken Block drives this sick car and he just like drifts through cities and they always look like they're like wide open. He's done it like in San Francisco. <laughs> I don't know, a bunch of other stuff. Anyways, we got notices on our door. Be patient as they shut down this main road for like two to three minutes or five minutes at a time. Basically, we're trying not to impede traffic too much, but he's gonna be doing whatever that stuff is that he does. <laughs> on this incredible bridge, this street right here, Los Olas Boulevard, maybe some of the A1A. So they've already started shutting that down as we pulled out this morning. They've got the street that goes into our neighborhood closed. Today's the day that they're gonna be drifting. Should What's we drift right now? now? When you guys see that come out on YouTube eventually, because that's what they always do with them, they put them out on YouTube. And you guys see that and go, hey, Binghams, we're staying on that street where that happened. We got out of here just before they started shutting stuff down. And it's really right in my face because <laughs> of the lights. <laughs> Love that hoodie. Got all our bags. We've made it. We're here. We're at the airport. We have got the exact amount of time that we wanted. We are yeah. right at the terminal now, Fort Lauderdale. Not the busiest of airports, and certainly not busy at 5 a.m. So I think we're. Uh, I don't even think we passed one single car in the drive here. <laughs> like the entire drive here, because it's also a Saturday morning, so everyone else probably asleep. They're getting ready to get out their super cars, go for a run on the beach. Who knows what they're doing here? But we're heading home, back to the mountains, back to the desert, also back to our beautiful home and our future home and our beds. Okay, here we go. Picked up an extra bag on the way home because we told Mana that we would take hers home for her so she could just conveniently, safely, and easily get home. We have seven bags checked. That's right, when we walked up and they said how many bags, we said seven. Everyone else in line goes, seven? Two trips, people. We went on two trips and we're helping my mom out. We are getting on the plane right now, boarding to head home. We have been here for a while, dude. Yeah, like, cool. we, we got here two weeks. 10 days ago or something like that. It feels yeah. like the cruise was an entirely different trip, maybe a different month. Like, it feels like it has been so long. I was teasing so the kids, long. and I said, do you guys remember last month when we went on a cruise? No, you said last year. You remember <laughs> last year when we went on a cruise? I was like, did we go on a cruise last year? It's like, oh, I get it. You're talking about it the really Disney cruise. It really was last month, though. But, guys, finally leaving the <laughs> humidity true. of Florida, headed back to the dry desert of Utah. Between our great tans are going to peel off. I know, they're going to fade. It looks fantastic right now. But I was going to say this. We get 
get teased pretty often about how early we come to the airport. I'm gonna get teased for this red nose eventually, but we get teased pretty often about that. But we get here with the perfect amount of time to get in, checked in, bagged in, through security, grab a bite to eat, sit down. As soon as we're ready to throw our garbage away because we're done, they call our boarding. I know, so, see, and six people just take a long time to do anything. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please direct your attention. Okay, at least we have a pilot. After the safety demonstration, if you have any safety related questions, please don't hesitate to ask. This is my favorite setup, though, when we have the entire row. So it just goes yeah, all six of us. But sometimes we get split up, like two up there, two back there, two in another spot. But when we get all six across, I just love it. We're just all together as a family. And I don't have to really feel bad about when I have to go to the bathroom. I'm not asking anybody to move except you guys. It is sunrise right now. So I know. we're hoping we can take off, catch a bit of sunrise. And I think because of the way we're flying, we'll kind of stay sunrise for a while. That's true. So we're like chasing the sun. The sun rises at six in the morning. It's day, huh? So in like two hours? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Four kids, seven bags, six humans total. We are home back in Salt Lake City, and guess what? It is 9.30 a.m. and 90 degrees already, but the kids are already noticing. Significant difference in the dry heat versus the humid heat. Does not feel that hot here. <laughs> We have arrived in sunny Salt Lake City. It is 90 degrees, but guys, how is this 90? It's this is amazing. way better because it's not humid. Why doesn't like it feel dry. like I'm not even nearly as sweaty? It's not yeah. just like wet, and humid, like heavy. I do love that humidity. I do love that Florida hotness, yeah. uh, but it is nice when you have a pool or an ocean that you can jump in. We're gonna load our seven bags into the van somehow strategically because we came here with six and they barely fit, and now we're trying to get in seven. It'll work. We we'll got... just leave you here and take the bag. back home all of us made it including all the baggage guys it feels amazing we say this every single trip I even oh, thought about it yesterday I'm like I know what I'm gonna say anybody who watches the travel vlogs knows it's coming but there is no place there really is no place like home like home yeah you're just gonna finish the line for me but it would be like it's cool like there's I no place to like home. There guys is we no place are like so home. tired so not only is there no place like home there's no place like your own bed so we are going to probably leave those right there and then we are going to hit the hay take a quick nap catch up on some sleep since we combined got I think like uh, an hour and a half and then if you guys are up for it, I'd love to go see the progress yes. on the house today. Oh, yeah. So yeah. would you guys like to see it? Hit the like button if you would like to see yes. the ladies and grace on the house because a lot has happened in the amount of time that we were gone. I feel like I'm closing the vlog, but we're not because it's 10.30 in the see morning. see you later. Okay, see you after my nap. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you.
We'll be right back. 